Hello everyone. Today we'll be looking in detail about waxy gene diversity in foxtail millet and its important role in evolutionary studies. Foxtail millet, that is Setaria italica, commonly known as Thinai, is one of the oldest minor millets in India. It is considered to be healthier than rice but less favorable among people because of its non-sticky nature. The wild type species of foxtail millet is non-sticky type but through crop evolution the sticky that is the waxy types which are favorable for consumption were evolved. So what is crop evolution? Crop evolution is nothing but a symbiotic process involving the plant and human population which has led to drastic changes in the genetic control of plant trait. Genes for the SAR synthesis are the good example for this aspect of evolution and waxy gene which controls the amylose content in the endosperm of certain grain is the best known example. So what is a waxy gene? Waxy gene encodes granule bound starch synthase, a key enzyme in amylose synthesis in plant and controls amylose content in the endosperm. The dominant waxy allele is associated with an amylose content of greater than 10% whereas recessive laws of functional allele confers waxy phenotype with amylose content at or near 0%. Additional allele produce an intermediate level of amylose in the endosperm. Waxy endosperm arises through the disrupted expression or loss of function of GBSS1 gene. Waxy type cereals characterized by little or no amylose content. Land races with waxy endosperm have been found in seven species of cereals including rice, barley, foxtail millet, common millet, sorghum, job steers and maize. So the waxy land races are cultivated only in specific geographical regions in the continental parts of Southeast Asia and East Asia where sticky food has been preferred traditionally. SNP Analysis Waxy gene is the only gene that regulates the amylose content in foxtail millet. Mutation in the GBSS1 gene are known to be associated with the sticky that is the waxy type. The structural analysis of transposable elements inserted in the GBSS1 gene reveals the type of phenotype. Insertion of transposable elements occur in four different regions of GBSS1 gene. They are intron 1, exon 3, exon 10 and intron 12. This transposable segment insertion is responsible for the amylose content variation which give rise to waxy type with high amylose content whereas the wild type species are non waxy with low amylose content. 96 samples from co collection of foxtail millet germplasm were collected from various parts of India for SNP analysis. Forward and reverse primers were used to amplify the transposable segment insertions. The principle of iodine stain method, the formation of helical complex between amylose and iodine give rise to a typical deep bluish brown color of starch dispersion stained with iodine and forms basis for quantitative determination of amylose content. The forming of complexes is determined using spectrophotometer. Preparation of standard amylose, the procedure is as follows. 2 mg of pure potato starch was weighed and then transferred into a bottle and 10 ml of water was added and mixed well. Add 500 ml of 95% ethanol to the solution. Water 
bath for 10 minutes. Making of Amilo standards, 8 test tubes were taken, one is kept as blank. To each of the test tubes add 1 to 7 ml of standard amylose. Then add 1 ml of 1 in acetic acid in 2 ml of potassium iodide solution. All test tubes were covered with aluminium foil to prevent direct light exposure because iodine potassium iodide disintegrates on exposure to light. The test tubes were kept for incubation for 20 minutes in the dark and the OD readings were taken at 620 nanometer in a spectrophotometer. Take 100 mg of powdered milled thinite and transfer it to the test tube. To this, add 9 ml of 1 and NaOH. And mix well. Then add 1 ml of 95% ethanol. incubation for 10 minutes then the volume was made up to 100 ml from this 5 ml of solution is transferred into another test tube add 1 ml of 1 in acetic acid and mix it well Then add 2 ml of iodine potassium iodide solution. And the volume was made up to 100 ml. Incubated room temperature in the dark for 20 minutes. Ninety-six assertions were sent for SNP analysis to amplify the transposable segment insertion TSI-1 and TSI-10 because of their smaller size that is 343 and 451 base pass respectively. The analysis showed that all the 96 samples fall under low amylose category that is non-vaxi type. This deviation may be due to the presence of larger type insertions that is TSI-3 and TSI-6 which are responsible for low amylose content. Amylose estimation. Starch was used as a standard to plot the graph. The amylose content was obtained in terms of percentage. Using B plot, standard straight line was drawn. By scanning the straight line according to the OD values, amylose percentages were calculated for every accession of the core collection. All the accessions are categorized under low amylose content category, showing a variation between 9% and 20%. Out of 96 accessions, 73 accessions showed 12 to 16 percentage amylose content variation. The GBSS1 gene in Foxel millet serve as a key to solving the mystery of origin of vaxi type cereals in India. In India, Tinai is thought to be cultivated over prehistoric period. This study will help to understand the reason behind the low amylose content in Indian Tinai germplasm. 
and use them in breeding program to produce variety with waxy grains. Yeah.